All right, here we go. Here we go. Listen, I'm going to talk about the 2006, the one of the greatest individual scoring performance that we have ever seen NBA players put on. Yes, the greatest one, the greatest NBA scoring performance we have ever seen display. Yes, starting with Kobe Bryant averaging 35.4 point, points a night, followed by Aaron Allen averaging 33 a night, followed by LeBron James averaging 31.4, third followed by Give It a Reason averaging 29. Then Dwayne Wade was 27. You got players like Michael Red. It's a crazy list, but we're gonna focus. We're gonna focus on that first, the, the top four, top five. It's never been in the history of basketball. We had three players averaging over 30 a night and the, and the four player averaging 29. Damn near 30 a night. That was the competition level that Kobe Bryant had to play again. That's why I put him over Michael Jordan. And I want to talk about Kobe uh, efficiency. When you take the shots that Kobe Bryant takes, it's a way above lead average. His field goal percentage for his career. His true field goal percentage is over 50, 50, 50 plus from the field. It's 50 plus from the field. His field goal percentage. His true is his true shooting percentage. The Eagles in free throws, three point shooting, layups, dunks, wherever you shoot from on the court and aside and, and then free throws. So guys like Damian Lillard don't shoot a high percentage to Kobe, but they LeBron James and Giannis out there Kumpo better field goal or better shooters than them? No. It's just LeBron James, Giannis, Michael Jordan. They got better shot selection. Kobe's shot selection. That's different. That's the only thing you criticize Kobe Brown for. Inefficiency is really not because that's the lead average. So, the, so everybody in the NBA is, is inefficient. <laughs> everybody, the lead he shots better, better than 44.7 44 for his career. That's lead. That's lead. That's above lead minimum of shooting, the, shooting the, fit from the field. Nobody took the shots. He's a tough shot maker. The only thing you criticize Kobe Bryant is bad shot making. That's it. So that argument, efficiency, no. Miss me with that shit. The LeBron and Jordan, they bet more. No. He took worse shots than they did because he didn't have a 48 vertical like them guys did. Period. In discussion. And he made shots, higher clips, better than they did. So anyways, Allen was having 33 a night. Nobody in the Michael Jordan era, when Michael Jordan was averaging 35, 37, nobody was averaging 33 Nobody was averaging over 30 with Michael Jordan. We had three guys. Give it a read, average 29. Nobody was averaging that amount of points alongside Michael Jordan. It has nothing to do with take away Michael Jordan greatness. But what was the greatest greatness from the other players? The other players weren't great. That's why we got to get this notion out of our head. The other players weren't great like them. The other players wasn't great like Michael. So Michael's competition level was a little low. And that was the year I think they took hand checking out, I, I, but they, they, they implemented zone defenses. Though. So the hand checking got taken out, but they implemented zone defense. Zone defense wasn't in the Jordan era. That's another knock on Jordan that Kobe had to face. Kobe had to face hand checking and he faced uh, zones. It was hand checking when Kobe Brown came to the league. It was hand checking when Kobe was going, going for a 3 peak averaging over 28 a night. So Kobe was putting up numbers with the hand check and when the zone defense, he put up to 35.4. You know how incredibly skilled you have to be to out to, to be the leading scorer in the league? And Kobe did take more shots than everybody that year, but he shot over 45% from the field. You know how hard you got to be to get up 25, 27 shots? To get to, to average 27. You know how great you got to be to put up 27 shots? How many guys put up 27 shots in a season and shoot that high great of a field goal percentage, 45% and 52 53 plus true shooting percentage. That's Kobe Bryant. Allen Iverson, 33. LeBron James, that's that's LeBron James' best scoring output, if y'all don't notice that. That was LeBron James' best scoring output in his career that season. Dwayne Wade was at 27 the game. I think everybody in the top 10 that year in scoring averaged over 25. Ray Allen was getting buckets. Michael Ray, y'all don't know how good Michael Ray was. You had... uh. Paul Pierce averaged a 26. I think that was one of Paul Pierce's greatest uh, seasons. It was a great season with great individual talent. That top 10 scoring list, Michael Jordan, I, I would take all those players, those those nine, so Kobe 1 and everybody 9, I would take those nine players, you had Melo on that list. 
I would take those. I would take those top players over any era Jordan, even the eighty era, or, or Jordan ninety era. I would take those scores and those players in the two thousand six list, all over two thousand five, two thousand six, over everybody in Jordan era, besides Charles Barkley and Larry Bird in the eighties. We talking about scoring wise, Charles Barkley and Larry Bird in the eighties. So Charles in the nineties and Larry in the eighties. I was, and, and then you got Carl Malone. But those are all bigs, not guards. Not guards, not twos, not not not, not one, not twos, not three. Gibber was a one. AI was a one. Who they say was a two, but he played the one. He was a one. Gibber was a one. You got two number one, you got two guys that played the one position, averaging 29 over over 29. AI 33, Gibber in is 29. Who the fuck was scoring 29? Isaiah Thomas' best year was 23 a night, 22 a night. Magic Johnson, best year was 22, 23. He didn't even get close to, he didn't get over 24 in a season in his career. We had two guard, two point guards averaging 29 and 33 points a night. Miss me with that, that Jordan had the toughest era. Like, niggas weren't scoring like that in Jordan era. Niggas had to watch Jordan to get like, so niggas had to watch Jordan, and then everybody came under him was, had their game. So it wouldn't, because nobody could play like Jordan. Clyde Dressler was good. Dominique was had some great scoring seasons, some real great scoring seasons. He didn't win nothing. That's like he's equivalent to Tracy McGrady. And I don't even think Tracy McGrady's on his 0506 look. I think he was. I don't think I, I gotta check. I gotta double check it. But you no, know, let me know, tell me what y'all think. I, I feel like Kobe Bryant, this oh, this, this this list, that season, to be the to be the number one score out of those great players and great scores, I I say that's the best accomplishment you can do. And he was first team all defense. And you had you had another you had a competition level of a, of a leading score when when James Harden averaged thirty six nobody ever nobody else averaged what thirty over thirty when he came back at thirty four nobody else averaged over thirty like I think I think Westbrook did average over thirty but I don't think nobody was averaging 32, 33, like two points off Kobe won about two points off if you want, when you just score with that high thirty five point nobody is that close to you. That's how great the lead was, if y'all understand what I'm saying. When Michael was going off 37, 35, nobody was two points, one point off him. Nobody was at the same page he was. With Kobe, you had two other guys. You had, you had, you had AI 33, you had LeBron 31, then you had Gibber 29, you had D Wade 27 points on, then you had Paul Pierce 26 points on. So you had so many guys, especially the top three, that was over 30 at night, that was close to him. Kobe had to outscore him by two, one bucket. Michael, Michael, when Michael was putting up them crazy numbers, James Harden putting up crazy numbers, they didn't outscore nobody about one bucket. That was outscoring people about two or three buckets. Like the, the points that the, from number one to number two was drastically different. That's why I say Kobe faced the best competition, the best scores. And hey, it's, it's, it's no discredit to Jordan because Jordan did it first and everybody followed Jordan and Kobe just got the back end of everybody following Jordan. That's it. That's it. Unbelievable talent. Kobe was. That's it. Anyway, tell me what y'all think. Make sure y'all like the video.